If you're interested in getting into the 2011 platform and you're in the market for a Staccato CS, a Staccato C2, or a Staccato P, hopefully this video will give you some insight into some user experience to help you make your decision. So before 2011, I was primarily carrying a Glock 19X. So what I have right here is a Zev Hypercomp, which is a very similar size to a 19X. It has the 19 slide with a full size 17 grip. And that's really important to understand why I made certain decisions when making these purchases. I'm someone that prefers a full size grip. I was never really a fan of the Glock 19 because I always felt that the grip was too short. So with that understanding, that leads us to the C2 and the P and why did I decide on one over the other? But first off, this is the P Heritage model with the 4.15 barrel. Uh, what I'm really talking about right now is the 4.4 model. So the benefits of the P is a longer slide, the 4.4 barrel, a frame that's made out of steel, which technically is a more durable material. The P is known to be an extremely flat and soft shooter. And you're gonna have a little bit more capacity with the longer grip. With the C2, you're gonna have a shorter slide with a 3.9 inch barrel. You're gonna have a frame that's made out of aluminum, which is lighter and easier to carry. And you're gonna have a shorter grip, which is easier to conceal. Luckily for me, I have a local gun store that actually stocks both the P and the C2. So I was able to hold both of them in my hands. And ultimately, I went with the 4.4 inch Staccato P. And the main reason for my decision was the full size grip. It was just more comfortable for me because again, I am used to the Glock 17 round grip. And I also got a tier one Axis Elite holster and this became my daily carry. And everything they say about the P is absolutely true. It's extremely accurate and it shoots super flat. The only downside is that it is a little bit long, so it's not as comfortable to carry. And because the frame is made out of steel, it is on the heavier side. So the idea of carrying around the P throughout summer didn't really seem like fun anymore. Then Staccato announced the CS, which was designed specifically for carry. So the CS has a 3.5 inch barrel. It also has an aluminum frame. It has an external extractor, a redesigned barrel, and a flat trigger. One of the biggest changes is the grip. It's much thinner because it uses an updated magazine that was designed specifically for nine millimeter. So in my opinion, the CS is definitely the most refined model out of this bunch and I carried it throughout summer and it was great. There's just one thing I did not like and that was the size of this grip. So I had the 4.4 inch P for winter carry. I had the CS for summer carry and I know a lot of people are gonna think this is crazy but I was really looking for a do all pistol that I could carry year round and my mind kept leading me back to the C2. But the C2 actually doesn't fix the issue about the grip because the standard C2 grip is about the same size as the CS grip. The difference here is that because the C2 uses the same mags as the P, I knew that I can swap out a P grip onto a C2. And that's exactly what I did. I was able to find someone locally to do a trade. I traded my 4.4 inch P for their Staccato C2 in similar condition and they also added some cash on top, which made the deal even better. And from there, I immediately took off the C2 grip and swapped it with a full-size P grip that is compatible with the 17 round mag. And this is now my everyday carry, and in my opinion, this is the perfect setup for me. It is much lighter than the P with the aluminum frame, and it's a half an inch shorter on the barrel, which makes it noticeably more comfortable when it's down your pants. I've also upgraded the trigger to an Atlas flat trigger, so it matches the feel of my CS. So if the C2 with the full size grip is my perfect carry, where did the Heritage P come into the picture? I'm gonna be completely honest with you, this was an impulse buy. 
I did not know Staccato was going to release this, but when they did announce it, I had to have it. So the P Heritage is basically the same thing as a 4.4 inch P, except it has a full dust cover and a 4.15 inch barrel instead of the 4.4. It also has the DLC barrel with lightning cuts on the slide. But pretty much everything else is the same as a 4.4 inch P. Did I need to get the P Heritage? No, I didn't. But this is definitely my favorite staccato that I have. So to answer the question, if I could only have one staccato, which one would I choose? If I could only have one, I would stick with the P Heritage. However, for most people, I would say go with the C2. And if you want a longer size grip, you can always swap it with the P Grip. The Staccato CS is also an amazing gun, and I would say that if you're coming from a subcompact like a Glock 43X or a P365, and you just want to dabble in the 2011 platform, I would say maybe you should go with the CS, but for most people, I would say go with a C2. But I would love your opinion, so leave a comment and tell me which one would you choose. In the end, Whichever decision you go with, I think you're going to be more than happy with because these are all amazing pistols. But that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.